On Shields is back on. Young Steve Shields is back on uh, for the President's 15. Very promising young footballer. He's got the right blood in his veins, though, I'd say. Johnny Shields was no slouch on the footy paddy. This is... This may not be commonly known that Johnny Shields was picked to play for New South Wales and didn't make it because he broke his arm in the preceding club game. So there you go. He's, He's got been bending it ever since. <laughs> well, it can't, hasn't been, it's never been straightened. <laughs> A few in-laws down here laughing about that commentary. <laughs> oh, just, How would they know? I'm glad I said the right thing. That's his mother standing in front of me. <laughs> Cara losing possession on the 20 metre mark inside. Um, hello, here's a busload just arriving on the far side. They're a little bit late, but. Uh, uh, this is the kookaburras that are coming the, the, to play the main game. Oh, is it? Right, out of the tree. The kookaburras coming through the trees on the far side, yes. In this, in this rural setting, what better people to do arrive but the kookaburras? This is uh, Lucas. Lucas charging for the line, gives it away to Southwell, and Southwell dives though. Yes, Southwell has scored the first try for the Point Evans 15, and it was. Uh, all, all brought about, I think, uh, by uh, Brian Lucas just charging down the sideline, head, edging his son on. <laughs> he's worn a track in front of... Brian's worn a track in front of this commentary position. I think he's been listening to you. He's got his marking oh, knife. Oh, I wonder what he's about. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got mean intent in his eye as well. <laughs> Brian, could you give us a, a few comments about the game so far and then the atmosphere of the day here? I would call this scintillating breathlessness. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're too fat. <laughs> Brian Lucas with that short comment, enjoying himself, no doubt, here this afternoon. That was a... I think that, that oh, he's right. kicked that he's too. Kicked he's kicked that. That's John Redden, is it? That's John Redden. John Redden's kicked the goal. Yeah, he's rounded up a goal. Not, not, not necessarily known as a kicker either. <laughs> a goal kicker anyway. <laughs> well, now, where's that bank manager? What's the score? <laughs> don't, well, I'm telling you, don't look at the scoreboard. <laughs> 17. 17 to 10, is it? No. No, 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 it's 17. 17 to 7. That's more like it. Yes. That's more like it. Well done, Tim. That'll be easy to say. Okay, oh, oh, here's the kickoff hasn't gone the 10 by metres. Falk. Hasn't gone the 10 metres. Yes. Gordon oh, Bray, okay. that stimulating referee, has uh, agreed with you, Terry, for once. Well, there's not that many times that I agree with referees. Can you take the lid off that can <laughs> of <laughs> Coke? <laughs> This is Catholic. This is this is Catholic cake. It's got Bishop Dewey's name on it. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Well, there's Georgie Pointerman. God, we've got all sorts of personalities up here today. <laughs> George is talking to Andrew, and Simon's out in the middle. What? Are, they're all the Pointerman clans here. Sister Bernadette, Simon's uh, Simon's auntie. Is, this is look at this, oh, look, no, Terry. We've it, just it. they've just made some. Uh, very good ground. On the far side has the point of his 15 while Terry was making those unnecessary comments and we we're unable to bring it to you because we're both having a drink. <laughs> Catholic Coke. <laughs> Back to play. The scrum is going down 10 metres out from the President's goal line. Right, right on the attack now is point of his 15. I thought there was uh, some talk of giving Ben Lane Ben Lane, that's the boy. That's the boy, Ben Lane from St Pat's, uh, a very promising boy. Hello. Here's some good, here's some good work from Cabot to get this ball out the far side. Is this Shoyer on the on the on the wing? No, I think that's. He's fair enough to be a Shoyer, isn't he? Here's Clem making a good charge up, Phil. Dummies the the uh, other side gives it to Gordon Bray. No, he doesn't. He was going to. Yeah, for oh. Mick Reed. Mick Reed, number Is that who it is? Mick Reed. 17 to 7 in favour of the President's 15. Right on the attack from that good run now is the President's 15. Centre field almost. 30 metres out. We've had a change in back line Bennett again. feeding the scrum. We've had a change in the back line, Barry. But Bennett has been replaced by number 7, Copeland. Copeland is now the half back for the, uh, President's, for the President's 15. Paul Southall's having a bit of a blow here in front of us. I think things have got a little bit... <laughs> He's breathing in and out. Or is he just breathing out? Hey, you've got to breathe in as well or you'll die. He's looking for Amy, I think. It's on his trousers. <laughs> but his wife doesn't know. <laughs> There's a bouncing pass out to McAleer. McAleer looking for support, but he's uh, held up in the tackle. Car is going in after the ball. 
and uh, it fires away Reardon, the, the, the last goal kicker, fires the ball, uh, an, an awkward pass I'd say back inside. There's number seven getting it away to uh, Scarl. Scarl finds support. A bouncing pass goes out to Gordon. Gordon standing out in the centre. A fleet-footed second rower out there looking for support. Finds it away out there to Clem. Clem's flung to the ground on the far side. And the mall is uh, been formed. And uh, in possession comes... Is that Cabot? Breaks out of play. That's out of the uh, tackle. And... Is that, the refere is that the referee's whistle? Is Gordon Bray having a yarn of himself back about 15 well, metres of play? just tackled him, I think. Is that... No, 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 that's not Gordon. <laughs> We're confusing all these replacements, isn't it? I mean, the, the, the rules... Not really, I can't <laughs> see any different. <laughs> <laughs> the rules under which this game is played is very loose and, <laughs> and easily interpreted, or difficultly interpreted. Terry, you don't think that that scoreboard is uh, a golf scoreboard from somewhere that they brought here for the <laughs> afternoon? <laughs> I, think it, I, I think it might so be. So you and I would hit up a 97 you, quite easily. You play bridge. <laughs> it might be a bridge board. <laughs> this mall's been uh, blown up now by referee Bray, right on the 20 metre mark, on the far side, while he scratches his freckle. <laughs> Fiona, Fiona Bray, Bailey is the... Uh, is the trainer and the conditioner for the Goulburn Dirty Reds, uh, she, just yeah. standing down in front. And, well, she hasn't had much to do to no, re do any repairs no, today, no, has she? No. She been doing, must have been doing it sort of she, after training or something with the boys. She's done it pretty well for them she, here. She's kept them pretty well on the bike. My bay. word. Not a band-aid to be seen. Yeah. When I was playing, there was never anybody as good-looking as her to come up and just sort of give me a rub where it was hurting most. Mate, they were all blokes when I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want them to rub it. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Oh, oh good run from Clem. Straight up field. Picks the ball up. Gets it back to Skull. Skull finds support too. Out it comes. Oh, it's an awkward pass. McGregor tries to beat uh, Lucas. Does it? Oh, that was Southall charging through on the ball. But it's scrappy play and, and uh, he's going to let it go. That's good work from the referee to, to let it run. Out it comes to Skull. Skull out to Gordon. Once more in the centre. Cabot gets it away. Out to Clem. Clem had to take that awkward pass some back. Of the, some of the passes have been a bit awkward, Barry. They have, mate, yes. Uh, but of course, that very stiff northeasterly that's causing a lot of this. Oh, <laughs> yes. Cabot got a little bit of come up then. Yes. He, he, I think he's due for a spill, actually. This is Gordon standing in the ruck, looking for support. Gets it back too. And uh, take, takes play within 30 metres of the. Uh, there's Tinkerbell comes out of the ruck. Tinkerbell once more playing at a fly half position. Still a bit oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this good run. That's uh, number 13. Broke away very, very well from that. Is that uh, Hammond? Hannon. Daniel Hannon. Gee, that was a good bit of football. A good individual, no doubt he'd be related to John Hennon, wouldn't he? Absolutely, yes. I don't know exactly in what respect, but I, it, it's well, one of Simon the... Simon was related to John Hennon. <laughs> yes, so... I know. They've all got the right blood in their veins. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a big change here, Terry, and it's not the weather. No. There's about half the field coming off <laughs> and half the field going on. <laughs> Another half going on. <laughs> As Mr. Custer said, look at all those bloody Indians. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to mess with us Indians. It's a very social, a very social atmosphere. It's a bit like a walk in the park, yeah, you'd say. It is, yeah. <laughs> Tink is coming off to have a talk yeah. to some of uh, Simon's boys. Simon's boys are coming off to have a talk, some talk to some of Tinker's boys, and the rest of them out there building it out of one another, <laughs> or trying to. We think the score is 17 points to seven in yeah, favour of the president's 15. I'm sure it is. That's what the score. Is. Joey's away. Joey's away, but he's, uh, he's, he's run into Mr. Cutler. Guess who we've got in front of us? <laughs> <laughs> Gordon Cabot. Dickie Cabot just come in the last stock float that went past. Just arrived. It's just come in from selling a few penny ewes out there at Crookwell. A very proud father, no doubt, here today, and so he should be. So he should be. He'll be a very popular man around the bar at the function tonight. G'day. I'm well. 17 points to 7 in favour of the President's 15. This is Southwell kicking through on the blind side of the scrum. Looking to pick it up, but Scarl gathers the ball 20 metres out from his own line, puts his foot into touch, so it'll be a line out from that position. 
They're moving pretty quickly to these line outs now, aren't they, Terry? Very, very quickly at the rate of a, <laughs> at the rate of a, of a very fast walk. Ask Gordon, I was wondering if you might ask Gordon for a comment on the day's play. I wonder... Go on, grab Gordon, Gordon go. just, come, just come here for a second, please. Gordon, go. he'll be back in a second, yes. That's right, yes. A marvellous function tonight in the Great Hall at St Pat's College. And it'll be one that'll be remembered by a lot of people for a long, long time. Yeah, for a long, long, for a lot, a lot of reasons. <laughs> Here we go again. This is Lucas standing wide this time, who uh, was instrumental in the, the only try that's been scored by the Port Evans 15 so far. Southwell gets it away quickly out to Cara. Cara gets it. Port Evans slips it away. And uh, the little snowy headed. Uh, Goose-stepping, uh, wobbling, warpling uh, scores underneath the post. Ian Walton. A beautiful try. So that uh, is interesting. I think the bank manager has been recalled. Where's he gone with the, with the score? No, he's, he's disappeared on us. He's disappeared. My reckoning, that makes it 17 points to... Uh, they didn't convert that one, did they? Five, that's 17 to 10. 17 to 10. Yes, with the 17, And Port Evans to take this kick. He drops it straight between the right posts. between the posts makes it... 17 to 12. Things 17 are, to 12. Five points a try. This, they're, they, they've, they've clawed their way back into the game. There's no doubt this North Eastly has helped the teams. There's no doubt, is there, Terry? It's, I mean, it's, it's been evident in the first half that the President's uh, side had the advantage, and in the second half now, his point of side powering downfield. I just hope the television cameras aren't panning to the, this, this beautiful bushland setting to uh, to allay the fears of the viewers that perhaps the, uh, the wind isn't as strong as we're suggesting. Well, that's right, yeah. <laughs> We're in this beautiful marquee supplied by uh, Caradell Hire. Right. And uh, the score again, Terry, please. For 17 to 12. 17 to 12. Right. We're about halfway through the second half of this invitation match between the President's 15 and the um, Point of an 15. Point of an invitation 15. 17. 17 to 12 is the, well, the, that has been verified uh, Barry we've uh, we've got some of our uh, more astute rugby followers have just verified the score as 17 15 17 12 I beg your pardon 17 12 this is Falk's drop kick but it's been uh, one pardon. once more by Joey Fitzgibbons the blind side tries to reel out of the tackle but nowhere to go for Fitzgibbons Andrew McKenzie there's a uh, Searle, Searle going the blind side, but uh, well sought after. Feverish work going on for the possession there. Out of the ruck comes uh, Picken. Don Picken kicks it ahead. Don Picken, Don Picken is a, a teammate of Stephen Cabot's at the Southern Districts. Bray, the referee, is a bit of jumper pulling there. Not shirt lifting, jumper pulling. Enough of that. All your leggies are the same. <laughs> Point of his kick down. Oh, a beautiful kick. Look at this. Look at this for a kick. Oh, it's almost uh, found touch down, right down the other end of the field. And this is Skull. Skull. There's that North Easterly again. He yeah. Out. He made look, Simon Point of not known as a kick. Look at this. It's br brushed the hair clean off Skull's forehead. <laughs> oh, Lucas takes it uh, 20 metres inside his own half. Looking for that's, touch. That's a penalty. That, oh, back out on the floor, back here. Yes. One of the new rules will... No, no. G'day, Jack. I'll have a yarn to you in a minute, mate. <laughs> now, this line out has been formed about halfway on the um, grandstand side of the Point of an Oval here this afternoon. Packed to capacity. Packed to capacity. And all having a wonderful time. You have been uh, been accosted by many famous people here this afternoon, Barry. They've been coming up in droves to say good day, renew acquaintances with you. Yes, autographs after, uh, Terry, yes. Oh, <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, oh, oh hey, hey. hello, hey, hey. Well, welcome home. Ah, come on. Welcome home. <laughs> hello, the ref's down, the ref's down. <laughs> I think it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. Someone took his marbles. Why would they? Hello, he? they've seen been, they've seen been, they've seen been point of an end and and, and Tinkerbell. Tinker. Oh God! 
Well, in the true tradition of rugby, they come off and shake, shaking hands. Great sportsmanship. The score still remains at uh, 17 points to 12. 